Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Stranger here and welcome to another YouTube music production video. And in today's video, we're going to be building on the minimal drum and bass beat that we made last week and add a bass on top, something like this. <laughs> And I'm gonna be showing you how to make this in five basic processes. Now, I'm gonna offer a special giveaway today. If you guys can get over 200 likes today, I'm gonna to give you guys the preset for free. So make sure you like the video. Again, if we hit over 200, I'll be giving away the preset. So look forward to seeing you guys hit the likes. And then we're just gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna open up Serum. I'm just going to say that there's a number of different bass sounds that you can make for neural drum and bass. But today we're going to be focusing on this one, which I call the minimal neural growler kind of bass. So under Serum, the first step is we're going to set oscillator A and B to a sine wave. So I'm going to hit under analog here and select the analog BD sine. And then I'm going to turn on oscillator B as well and turn on analog bd sign now i'm going to turn the level of oscillator b all the way down because we don't want this oscillator playing it's simply going to be used as a modulator to modulate oscillator a now the next step is we're going to go under here which i call the warp parameter and we're going to select fm from b this is where we indicate that oscillator b will be modulating the frequency of oscillator A. Now this is called FM synthesis and we can do an entire course on FM synthesis, but we're just gonna just show you the basic steps of applying this type of modulation. So I'm just gonna pull out the exascope so you can see how the waveform looks like. So right now we have just a basic sine wave. Now watch as I increase the FM amount. Notice that we get additional harmonics on top of that sine wave. And that's what we want is that kind of that mid bass on top. Now an additional step to FM modulation is to increase the pitch of the modulator, which is oscillator B. Now we can go into the semitone and click and drag up. Notice how the tone of that harmonic changes as we increase the pitch of oscillator B. And remember that oscillator B is actually not playing the levels all the way down. So it's simply modulating oscillator A to get that additional harmonic. Now for this particular bass, we're gonna adjust the octave up to plus three and we're gonna leave semitone to zero. Now you can actually experiment and find other octaves that you might like. You might like it at plus two or plus one, I encourage you guys to experiment. But for this particular bass, we're gonna stick with plus three and semitone at zero. And then we want to adjust the FM amount and bring it down a bit because we don't want that intense FM modulation. Notice that the intensity really gets drastic as we increase the FM amount. Finally, we're gonna go into envelope two and assign it to the FM amount. And then we're gonna adjust the attack and decay of envelope two. So I'm just gonna zoom in here to the envelope and we want sustain all the way down to zero. And then we adjust the attack and decay. So you get that mountain kind of look. So you got that attack. So now we don't want the amount of the envelope two to be all the way up. So click and drag down that horseshoe icon. You might have to adjust the cutoff frequency. That's closer. So depending on the kind of wub sound that you want, you will have to adjust the attack and decay accordingly. I tend to like the attack a bit slower and the, the decay faster. So that decay drops off really quickly. You can adjust the slope here to make it a little more drastic, a little more pronounced. Now the second technique of this is to add a filter on top of the sound and we're going to apply a low pass filter. Now there's a number of different low pass filters. 
I like low pass 24, it gives you the roundest kind of sound, but you can try the others as well. And then we're gonna bring the cutoff down a bit and then apply envelope two to the cutoff. Now we have to adjust the amount here, so click and drag down that horseshoe icon. Again, you're gonna first have to set the cutoff frequency and then adjust the modulation amount with the horseshoe icon accordingly. Now you get a rounder kind of wub sound. Now you can increase the resonance to make that filter sound a little sharper. And then increase some drive. Okay. Now the third basic technique is to go into your effects and then add some distortion. So turn on that distortion and then adjust the drive. I say anywhere between 12 o'clock and up is good. The objective here is to make that sound growl. So you want to increase the drive enough so that it brings out that growl. That's sounding pretty good. And you can also try the other distortion algorithms here. I like two, but just sounds the warmest. And now the fourth technique is to apply an additional filter to that sound. This is to round out that distortion that we had. So what we're gonna do is apply envelope two to the cutoff and then increase the modulation amount. Adjust the resonance, give it a bit of that sharpness, increase some drive. Okay, that sounded pretty good. I feel like the fifth step is to add some effects. So I like to add some multiband distortion such as Devaster. I try a number of different presets here. Breathing transients are sounding pretty good. And then we're going to add some reverb. Now you can use Ableton stock reverb. That's totally fine. Bring the mix all the way down to about 6% and then cut off some of that low frequency and then bring the decay down a bit. Maybe shave off some of that high. And now we can add some notes in. So we're going to add a new clip. Make this a two bar pattern. And with minimal drum and bass, you don't have to go too crazy with the notes. You can keep it one note or a couple notes. So we're just gonna stick to a uh, one bar note and look for the right octave. For our sound here is probably the octave zero here. So we're, I'm gonna apply one note here and then one note here. Let's hear what we got. <laughs> Okay, now that we have some notes and we have all the parameters set, it's easy to go into Serum and then adjust the parameter so we can fine tune that sound. Okay, that's already sounding great once we brought that filter amount down. And bring up that resonance to really make that growl peaky. All right, it's sounding pretty good. So I'd show you guys the basics of making a minimal growler bass here. Again, there's five basic techniques. The first step is to set your oscillator so you're in kind of FM synthesis mode. And then the second step is to add some filter modulation to kind of shave off some of those high frequencies. The third step is then to add some distortion. And then the fourth step is to add uh, an additional layer of filtering to round out some of that distortion. And finally, add some multiband distortion and reverb to really bring that sound and make it come alive. So as you can see, once you have the parameter set, it's really easy to then tweak it to really fine tune and get the sound you want. And I really encourage you guys to master each one of these processes until you get that sound just right. It's going to take some practice and some experimentation until you find that sweet spot. But once you find it, you're going to really enjoy the results. 
So that's pretty much it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like. Again, if we hit 200 likes, I'm gonna give away this preset for free in the comments. And if you have any questions or anything you wanna learn in future videos, let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this and you want more, then make sure you subscribe to stay updated. And until then, keep practicing, and we'll see you at the next video.